A new Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2 P2 patch just dropped with tons of new updates. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, just to get straight into it, guys. Um, features and gameplay under the location category. Hangar cargo platform lighting polish pass has been done. It says work in progress to increase lighting. I did notice a few areas in the hangars that were pretty dark. So I'm glad that they're addressing this. Under gameplay, it says UI readability improvement polish has been done. It says made numerous updates to holographic MFD visuals and other holographic elements to improve legibility. Improved legibility of many HUD elements, scale down chromatic abbreviation on lower resolution, factor in chromatic abbreviation option settings, magnification, hookup settings for aiming elements, fixed TVI opacity, logic, crosshair, contextual weapon ammo counts, AI UI size element based on frost zoom ratio instead of obsolete pixels, but keep line widths and text sizes to pixels. Updated vehicle objective quad to Chevron instead and added new AR geometric materials updated markers and off-screen markers materials updated contextual weapon info made further radical visual improvements radar visibility polish it says here shrink radar sphere of screen radar and increase improved clarity of markers and other elements to compensate lots of updates on that and hangar spawn logic updates here it says when retrieving ships to newly created persistent hangars we now also check for existing vehicles and store them. Also, when despawning ships, we wait for asynchronous response to the vehicle owner query. Else we'll destroy the ship that's not been received yet. This avoids ships clipping into others after spawning them into non-empty persistent hangers. I did experience this quite a bit in the last patch where um, ships spawn into each other because one of them will not be removed um, after trying to despawn it. Okay. Moving on, it says quantum and hydrogen refueling time temporarily set to be instant. They've improved the item kiosk camera positioning. Under ships and vehicles, they, um, the Hornet series lighting polish pass has been done. It says adjusted the blue lights on the canopy to not be blinding for all Hornets. They removed the canopy annunciator of the F7CM and added the new ones to the dashboard screens, made general lighting tweaks inside of the F7CM. The RSI Mantis polish has also been done. It says reworked MFDs and associated material to resemble those of other RSI ships. Moved MFDs up in order to be in view when player is looking straight ahead. It says Zeus ES and CL reduce lighting and landing light intensity and FOV for the Zeus ES and CL claim timers and cost polish. I did uh, notice the claim timer was around like, I think like 58 minutes for the Zeus, which was ridiculous. Um, so hopefully uh, it's a little bit more reasonable. Zeus ES and CL HUD mfd polish has also been done it says titan renegade claim time and price adjusted annunciator panel audio polish as well under weapons and items the multi-tool ui and added repair tool ui to show part maximum repairability interesting under cortex graphics options have changed to make full screen borderless the default option and they removed the outdated full screen option nice under bug fixes, there's quite a few. Let's just get straight into it. They fixed an issue where landing services reading fuel um, increments incorrectly, causing abnormally high costs. Some ship shield do not protect the ship and weapon fire goes right to the hull damage with shields on. They fixed an issue where there is no PAAR ammunition being sold in the PU. They fixed an issue where turret UI names are being shown around points of interest causing frame rate drops they fix an issue where targeting pips are not present for all ground vehicles they fix an issue where chat window always visible 
while in the pilot seat the piston issue where vehicle mount track the beam cannot reliably move the atlas the fixing issue where the cutlass door cannot be closed using the button near the rear ramp the fixing issue where the carrot top hanger is visually missing when fully closed and viewed from the interior the fixing issue where the 890 jump has multiple viscera issues on the interior of the ship the fixing issue where scan results are not populating on multiple vehicles the fixing issue where the Zeus interior ramp control panel does not have an interaction prompt the fixing issue where the max lift track beam battery named as gallant rifle ammo on the shop display they fix an issue where the fps on foot navigation does not have routes they fix an issue where there are currently no interactions on vehicle dashboard to activate and control the vehicle quantum enforcement device they fix an issue where snare events mark do not appear when another player is snared they fix an issue where 300 series that are customized through the rsi uh, website for additional flare item does not have any flight ui the fixing issue where pulling a new ship with one already present will cause the new ship to spawn on the ship elevator door and fall through the hangar asop only the fixing issue where invisible wall in large hangars near freight elevator kiosk the fixing issue where staggering fire and large aim ui options missing from the Integration screen, the fixing issue where vehicle loadout managers miss a livery section on for the Ganu Defender. The fixing issue where terrain and structure are calling in lower left of the cockpit view. The fixing issue where there is a visceral issue that affects the shower bathroom door and the inside room when looking out. And that is for the Aegis Vanguard. The fixing issue where tutorials do not progress after leaving the hab elevator the fixing issue where the after turn stop and name causes the player uh unnaturally squats into a geo of the atlas the fixing issue for the c1 spirit when the ramp is lowered can drift or slide as the ramp makes contact with the ground plane the fixing issue where holding f and right clicking the radar does not lock the zoom on some ships the fixing issue where vehicles is absent of weapon power column in power management i didn't notice this for a few ships if they fix an issue where ballistic weapons are still able to fire even when no power pips are assigned the fixing issue where fly sticks is blocking player view of mfd screen the fixing issue where ship turrets mfds and pilot seats mfds are blank they fix an issue where utility weapons share the same ammo type in the weapon config MFDs. They fix an issue where the Mantis MFD flick on and off when boosting and completely flicker off when going into the movie glass. They fix an issue where distribution centers have a lot of assets with replacement textures. They fix an issue where this area issue at pilots and co-pilot door. This is for the Bandit Defender. The fixing issue where there are green MFD screens when spawn and driving. So now this is for the gray cat vehicles. The fixing issue causing full screen borderless to minimize when going out of focus. The, the fixing issue where some objective ships can spawn with no Zeta Pronade on board. So now this is for the blockade runner. Along with this is five client crash fixes, eight server crash fixes and the server deadlock there's a ton of bug fixes for this one hopefully a lot of them stay and actually work um before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one